Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to update your Windows 11 to version 25H2 because of this error code that is 0x800704-2b. Now, first of all, restart your computer and after the system restart, you can try to update and then check. Still not working, then go to Windows Update and then click on Pause over here. Hit Pause and once paused, now resume updates and then you can check. Still not working, start services. Now for this type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Find app readiness in the list. Make a double click on app readiness, set this to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted. And then click on OK, make a right click and then click on restart. Now find background, intelligent transfer service. Make a double click, set this to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted. And then make a right click and then click on restart. Now find Windows update in the list and then scroll down, make a double click on Windows update. Again, set this to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK, make a right click on Windows update and then click on restart. Now you can try to update and then check. Still not working. The next step is to run these commands. So type in CMD in Windows search box. Make a right click on command prompt app. Make sure that you open command prompt as an administrator only. Click on yes to allow. And then copy the first command. All these commands are provided in the video description. Paste it over here. Hit the enter key. Now this process will take some time. It will run a scan. Once the scan is 100% complete over here, copy the second command and then paste it on the same window and then hit the enter key. Once the second scan is 100% complete over here, copy the third command, paste it on the same window, hit the enter key. Once the third scan is 100% complete, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can update. Still not working. The next step is to use Windows 11 installation assistant. For this, you can open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Here you can see Windows 11 installation assistant. Click on download now and then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. Now over here, if you see update option or install option, you can install it from here and then restart your computer and then check. Still not working. Use fix problems using Windows update. For this, you can open Windows settings, go to Windows update. Go to advanced option over here and then go to recovery option. Here you can see fix problems using Windows update. This will reinstall your current version of Windows. Your apps, files and settings will be preserved. So click on reinstall now. This process will take some time and then restart your computer. And then once you restart, once you go to Windows update, update history, you will see the repair version of version 24H2. Once this is done, now you can try to update your Windows 11 to version 25H2 and then check. Still not working, use media creation tool. Now for this, you can open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Scroll down here, you can see media creation tool. Click on download now and then run this exe file and then click on accept over here. By default, Windows 11 will be selected. Click on next, select ISO file over here and then click on next. You can save it to desktop, save. Now let the download complete. This process will take some time. And once done, click on finish and let it close automatically. Do not close this manually. It will take few seconds to close. So let it close and then go to desktop. Make a double click on Windows ISO file over here and then make a double click on setup file. Click on yes to allow. Click on next. Accept. Here you can see ready to install. By default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So make sure this is checked and then hit install. And once the installation is complete, restart your computer and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to update your Windows 11 to version 25H2 successfully. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.